Hey guys, this is Fury 91. And I'm talking about the Game Gear. Now, for those who don't know what the Game Gear was, it was basically Sega's answer to the Game Boy. It was their handheld, and it didn't sell as well. It didn't do terrible. It sold around 10 million units by 1996, I believe. But they discontinued it a year after that. And now they've announced the Game Gear Micro. Right, not Mini, Micro. And when you see this, you understand why. Why is this thing so small? I mean, I don't even know what games come with it, but I just want to know whose eyesight is that screen for? I mean, that looks like, what, a two-inch monitor or something like that? Like, who decided to make it like that? This is going to be, like, for 45 bucks, and how are you going to play this? I don't understand. I mean, does it come with special glasses that zoom in on the screen? I just don't get it because... This just looks almost unplayable because it's just so tiny. I understand that bringing back classic systems is a big thing now, but this may not be the way to do it. Yes, the Game Gear should have been made smaller, I believe, because the Game Gear, if you guys don't remember, what originally was a pretty big handheld system. But it doesn't need to be made this small. I don't get it exactly. It's supposed to come out October. Maybe they'll bring some more information on it before that that explains why it's that tiny and how it is very playable. I don't know. But what do you guys think about this? Do you guys think it's cool that they made it that size? Is this a system you want to buy and actually play games on? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe. May God bless you all.